Good morning. Um, I'm going to talk about the five months that I just spent in Spain traveling with YWAM. Now, I'm going to try to actually keep it in the five minutes this time, but it's hard. Five months is a lot to talk about. Um, so I, I traveled five months with YWAM, and I went with a program called the Discipleship Training School, which the way that's structured is you have three months of, an applica- of a, a theoretical study and then two months of an application phase. And so in the three months, for me, I spent those three months in Spain, And by theoretical study, it means more like you spend a lot of time developing yourself, developing your relationship with God and understanding, uh, you know, who you are in Christ and and where you stand in that, but also understanding uh, just like what your purpose is. And, And I don't necessarily mean like we all find exactly what our calling is, but the idea of like of knowing who you are in Christ allows you to to be comfortable doing what you're doing in life, whatever it is your stage, knowing that you can honor and you can serve God wherever you are. And so that was, that was a really big part of that learning. But also we spent a lot of time learning cultural things because um, as a missionary or as going into this mission school, there's a lot of things you really need to understand about cultures that a lot of people forget about. We, we often do missions in a way that is, is more damaging than it is helpful. Um, that it's very common to do that because people don't really understand the culture that they're working with. And so that those three months were spent a lot of time studying those cultures that we'd be working with as well as, as developing ourselves and preparing ourselves to be really ready to actually to, to go out and, and, share our gos- and share the gospel. And then the two months of application, I spent one of those months in England uh, where we spent half of that time in London and half in a city called Luton. And just between those two cities, it was a completely different experience. London is, I mean, everyone knows about London. It's, just, it's a huge city, and there's a huge population. And so we were able to work with a lot of homeless people while we were there. And that was actually pretty much our mission field while we were in, uh, in London, was uh, giving out and, and spending time with the homeless people, having you know, conversations with them, giving them food during the nights and stuff, and just, and just building those relationships. Then we went to Luton. It was a very different side. We, we worked more directly with the church, and we were able to uh, kind of support them and help them grow. They're a newer church, so we were able to take part in this, this church planting experience and finding new um, new members for the church as they're like finding new buildings and stuff, and it's really cool to be a part of that as well. And then the next month, we went to Dominican Republic, which not only is on the other side of the world, but it is the exact opposite culture. It, it, the, the people are so much more open. It's just the, the complete difference. Where like in in England, you walk down the street and it's kind of everyone has their head down. You know, in Dominican Republic, if you don't greet every single person when you walk in the room, it's rude. No matter who's talking, no matter. So it's a very very different culture. And so there we spent a lot of time working directly with um, one lady who ran a children's church. So she, she actually ran a church that was every single member was children. And it was really cool because they actually all had memberships. They all went through their service like we have here where we get new members and they come up and they're like voted on. Kind of, and it was actually really cool that she had that. She had all this run with children and that was really interesting. And so we spent that whole month working with schools, working directly with the children. And whenever we didn't have something planned, there were still kids at the place we were living. And so this also was a very different experience and different than anything I had experienced before. I did go to Kenya on our trip, but when we were in Kenya, we kind of had, we had what's called the international village. So we did have a kind of a little bit of our separate space to allow us to do to some planning and some, some of our own devotional, <coughs> excuse me, some of our own devotional time. <coughs> but when we were in Dominican Republic, we really didn't have any of that. I was actually like, like, the bed I was staying in belonged to one of the kids there. He just moved out a little bit for me, slept in the bed next to it, and I shared that. You know, we, I showered with a little bucket that I poured over my head, and so we were actually really, really living that experience, and that, so that was very, very cool to be a part of that, but also <laughs> it was a long time. A month is a lot to be the exact opposite of what you're used to. Um, so now I kind of want to talk about the support from Fulton Church. Uh, first off, I'd like to thank you guys so much for supporting me, and um, also just in general for supporting so many missionaries. I know that we make it a huge deal in Fulton to support missions work, and I think that's just an incredibly vital thing, not only for the people that we're, we're reaching to and we're ministering to, but also for the missionaries themselves. Because I know just in this five months that I've spent have been five of the months of most growth in my entire life. And so without the support of Fulton Church, I would have been able to experience that. Uh, what the money went to is I, I was about... I received about six and a half thousand euros, and five. Um, we had a large portion of that. Majority of that was for my tuition directly, so it allowed me to go to the schooling, and then also to the the outreach, the, the flight, and everything, the travel, all the expenses, and everything we did. 
But then I also actually had a surplus of money that allowed me to help another student, actually a few other people that weren't able to, to pay for their whole schooling. And honestly, that's one of the most amazing feelings, to, to be so blessed that you're able to overflow your blessings on other people. Honestly, it's just an incredible feeling to have. And so I thank you for giving me that opportunity, for allowing me to have um, so much that I can overflow on others. I mean, I, I went in and gave all my money and had three cents for the span of three months. You know, I had three cents to my name. And then uh, all of a sudden, I had so much that I was able, it was overflowing to other people going through the school. And Fulton Church supported multiple missionaries through this work. Multiple people allowed them to go from country to country. Uh, yeah, so thank you for giving me that opportunity. I really, I really appreciate your support, and honestly, I can't tell you how much it's, it's impacted me and how much it's changed me. Um, so I uh, also thank you for the opportunity for me to just learn who Christ is, and you guys supplying me that, that opportunity, but also the, uh, the ability to, to share that with other people. And that is, that is something I don't think I can really ever thank you guys enough for. Um, so I just, I think I'll just have to repeat it. Thank you. <laughs>